Have y'all heard about Turbo Pack? It's the hot new thing. If you've been on Twitter much the last few days, you might have heard about Turbo Pack. Vercel has taken on the really bold task of rethinking the Webpack and bundler experience for web applications in Rust. Yeah, that's right. We're rewriting all of our build tools in Rust from scratch to see if we can eke out some performance wins. Wait, haven't we already done this like four times? What about Rome? What about Vite? What about all these other tools for speeding up our builds? ES Build, SWC. What's going on here? And why does Turbo Pack matter? Let's talk about it. So, an important thing to know about Turbo Pack is that it's created by the same team as Turbo Repo. If you're not already familiar with Turbo Repo, it is a mono repo tool focused on TypeScript applications that is very, very fast, not just because it was written in Golang and runs fast, but more importantly, because it takes a lot of advantage of caching. And that's going to be the key word here, caching. Turbo Repo hashes all of the packages and all of the build steps you create inside of your repository. So when you make changes in the future, it can just grab the outputted result rather than having to rerun the entire build for every chunk of your code base and every package in your mono repo. This means you can have a much faster experience building, rerunning, making changes, filing PRs, and all the other things that you have to do as a developer working in these big projects. The most important piece here though, is that that cache is not something that is just on your machine. It is, for now, hosted on Vercel if you choose. And you can link your Vercel account to your CLI and to Vercel itself. And now everybody who builds the project, be it they're building it on GitHub, they're building it on Vercel, or they're building it locally, will have way faster builds as it fetches a cached entity with the built object and binaries rather than having to do everything yourself and wait for those builds to pass. This is huge. However, this is only happening at a package level. So if you have a project with many different packages and you've chosen to break up your application in that way, individual packages can be cached, but packages they depend on changing would break that cache and a fresh build would have to occur. Because of this relationship, the, the graph nature of even properly broken up applications, you might still find a single change busting a lot of your cache because it's in a dependency that a lot of things have. However, what if you could cache on a more individual level? Like let's say an individual file level, then you could theoretically do a lot more. And this is what's interesting about TurboPack. It's not that they wrote really fast code and magically they're thousands of times faster than everything else. The true magic of TurboPack is in its caching layer and how that allows for your performance to scale as your applications get way bigger. If you compare the speed that Vite and Turbo handle 10 files changing in a code base, they're going to look very similar. But if you change those same 10 files in a code base with 50,000 files in it, that's when we're really going to start seeing the benefits of Turbo Pack. Because of that, it's a little hard to benchmark <laughs> because the benchmark depends on how many times you've run it, how reliable the cache is, and more importantly, what changes you're actually making. The cold time comparisons for a fresh clone of a TurboPack project versus a fresh clone of a Vite project, both without access to a cache, are gonna be very similar. Turbo might win some, Vite might win some, they're generally pretty close. But once you have that gigantic cache inside of a more gigantic project, that's when you're really gonna see the benefits of something like TurboPack. All of that said, there's a really important thing to know as we take a look at Turbo Pack, it's incredibly unstable. <laughs> We're nowhere near shipping Turbo Pack in production just yet. They don't even have a production build option in it yet. It's still very, very early. I am hyped for what it could possibly be, but we have a long ways to go before we're there. And I want to make sure we are realistic about that as we look at Turbo Pack and evaluate it as an option. The benefits of Turbo Pack are that caching layer in big projects, but it is not ready to use for even small projects yet. So be hyped on what's happening, similar to something like Bun, where it's clear that there are obvious powerful wins there. And if it gets to a place where we can use it, we should, but that doesn't mean we should be using it just yet. We should be hyped on what's coming. We should be excited, keeping an eye on the repo, keeping an eye on the core team and the things that they're doing, but we shouldn't be going too out of our way to adopt something that early. Sorry, Prime. Anyways, this is quite a rant. Appreciate y'all a lot. If for some reason you're still not subscribed, please fix that button is here. It should be white now because YouTube redid their UI. Please hit it. There's fancy little animation now too if you haven't seen that just yet. Like the video if you haven't. Leave a comment if you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you, nerds.